good morning everybody if you're watching this in the morning that is uh, I'm over at Quinicoy today Adam is moving a few fish over they've got some sales coming up and I asked if I could come along film some fish have some content the shop is looking fantastic have a look behind me Quinicoy is only 12 minutes from my house although today it took 16 minutes with road with traffic and road diversion so an extra four minutes to the journey so Hopefully you're able to get involved with this. Also, there will be a prize coming up. Uh, if you watch the channel, you could come over to Queenie Koi and you'll be able to get a prize as well. An exclusive, one of these. If you come over, Adam would connect you with one of these. So you'll be able to get that free from Queenie Koi. But without further ado, let's have a look at some koi. We're gonna spend the day here filming. Looking around me, the guys are working hard. There's lots of food and uh, treatments and stuff on offer but better than that there's lots of fish they're moving some fish over from the quarantine Adam has already just told me that they have a January sale on with some stuff up to 50% off because they're making way for new koi coming in and there's some deals to be had have a look at these shelves if you've never been at Quinicoy have a look at these shelves I'm walking down there's all sorts of food listed here um, everything you can see uh, over there. So Quinicoy is located in Leicestershire in the Warnlip area in Bristol and uh, you could find their website. I'll put a link to their website in description and also I'll just drop some footage of their website because their website is actually very good. I really like the way they've done it as well. So just uh, sit back and enjoy watch some of these. Have a look at these. Yeah, there's ponds all the way down here as well. Let me turn you around quickly. You can have a quick look. And right the way around, if you see that all these are loaded out with fish and uh, today we're going to be picking a few of these out and just measuring up and moving from stuff over from their quarantine area as well and uh, yeah, it's a fun day in store for you and all you got to do is like and subscribe look, they've even got me today my own mug, have a look with my name, a mug for a mug there you go <laughs> All right, so I've got all the Rasta Cat set up ready for filming. And like I said, you could get one of these from Adam exclusively. There's no cost, but he would tell you how you could get one of that today as well. So sit back, relax, and enjoy my day at Quinicorn. Right, so we've just, um, I say we, I didn't do anything. <laughs> Adam's done all the work. The thing is, he's so tall, i got to stand back. So you got to speak up so we can hear you. I, I'm okay here. So you have a... We're going to spend a day here with you. Um, I gave you a bit of some messages and we're able to connect and get to come down to Quinicoy. Thank you for inviting us yeah, down today. And uh, there's some really lovely koi. I love your Tamora section there and I can't wait oh, to get yes. down there. Um, but just chatting off camera, you told me you got a pre-season sale coming yeah, up. So Tell us a little bit about that. It's going to be the biggest sale that we've ever done in all honesty. So um, we're, we're doing a pre-season sale. Um, running in the end of January, so it'll be Saturday the 20th, I hope I've got that right. 20th, running yeah. until Sunday the 29th, I believe, again. Oh, my birthday weekend and the whole Japan oh, how weekend. How convenient. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're doing a huge sale um, across the board on koi, dry goods. We've got a lot of exciting things coming up. Um, some really big discounts. I mean, there's, there's an entire pond that I'll be doing 50% off of, which is unheard in all honesty. Um, it's going to be some prize giveaways and some golden ticket stuff so some really exciting um, things to come and obviously throughout this video hopefully I can explain and show you some of the toy that will be in that sale as well. Well I've seen a few of it Adam, um, you've got some really nice Tamora fish, I'm a big fan of Tamora, yeah. uh, I was fortunate enough to be at the farm not so long ago Absolutely, and I purchased, I yeah, I purchased one of the top level Sankey. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully my missus is not watching this. <laughs> but I've surprise. seen some of your stuff for 50% off and honestly they're really good stuff. I'm not just saying Thank it because you. you're here no, but people watching this there's some really good deals to be had. Some really good core. It's a time of the year when you're paying your taxes after it's Christmas. It's a tough time of year, January, yeah, but, you know, but hats off to you guys at Queenie Koi that you've done something to bring customers over as yeah. well. And uh, we're going to spend a day with you. We've got some nice big koi to look at over here. Absolutely. And um, I'm looking forward to this. We've got a few prizes you're going to give away. We do, we do. We also got a raster mug that you're going to we give away to one well. of your viewers. And um, it's going to be a fun day. So 
Everybody watching you sit back and relax and hopefully we can see Adam sweating or getting wet. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be a long day, yes. it, I think. Alright, let's go for it. Let's do this. Right. Wow, look at this. This is a privilege to see this kind of level of fish. Yes. Yeah. We've not been here that long. She was shipped in summer. Okay, shipped so, in the summer. Yeah. Summer 23, right? Summer 23, obviously she went through our six week quarantine, which obviously I can go into detail. Yeah, we'll talk about the quarantine procedure Actually, later on. It's really important for customers to understand what we do. Yes. To make sure that they're as healthy as they can be when they get to customers pond. Yeah, because yeah. Because obviously uh, the last thing we want to do is make, make any upset by um, bringing something in with a new purchase. She's very heavy. Well, I must say, Adam, you handled that very well. Thank you. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> so... They've been out this week to photograph, so they're no strangers to the bowl this week. There you go. So come over here so we can pick you up on the camera. Tell us a little bit about this fish. So she is a Hoskin shower. Um, eight years old, Hassai. Hassai, eight, yeah. yeah. Hashi, yeah, eight. So, um, yeah, she was part of our Q collection. Okay. Um, which was previously on the website. And she was out in Japan for Azakari for a few years and, and last year we thought we'll bring all, all our Azakari portfolio mm. over um, to showcase her in, in our main pond because she was, uh, she was a stunning example. Well done. Yes, she wow. is a show quality shower. 70 centimeter. Absolutely. Oh, she's beautiful. And just to add, this water is 90 degrees, so, yes. it's, it's, so the fish is a little bit subdued because of that. Um, so when, when did this come in? Uh, this came in with the other big girl. Um, this was part of our Azakari right, okay. um, portfolio that we bought over at the same time in the summer. Um, she was harvested, I think, at about 67, so she's only three centimetres since coming mm. over. Um, but I must suggest that we can't throw lots of food at them in this main pond. So. Yeah, the filtration isn't isn't up to scratch to remove so much uh, right. manual waste. Yeah. Um, but even still, with this much space, you still managed to put on three centimeters yeah. in the last few months. So good very growth. Good. Yeah, very good. Even without trying, so very yeah. pleased with her. And what you know, somebody new to buying Showa, mm. you want to explain a little bit about the three colors and sure, you know, so. Obviously, on the other show is part of the Go Sankey, so the big three that people refer to, so Kahaku, Sankey, and Showa. Right. Um, obviously, with the showers, you have uh, Benny being the red, yes. that um, sits underneath the Sumi, which is the black. Um, yes. And this is a really good example of a fish with great shiroji, so the, the white is really crisp on this one. The even shiroji is white. That's it. Yeah. So even though she's in a bowl and she's a little bit stressed, she's still showing a really crisp, clean white, white yeah. um, so she's done very well. And, and what people may not know, Adam, is that Shaw is actually a blackfish at, yes, at prime. Yes, underneath. Underneath all black, black, yeah, all black fish, and then when the breeders are selecting them, that's what they look like yeah, amongst absolutely. the others. And obviously to have nice, thick shiroji there, to hold back that black underneath, um, it's, it's really hard to find a good deep white, so yeah. she's got that in bags. Yeah, well, this bowl is what, a one meter? It's a meter bowl. Yeah. A meter bowl, so it's six yeah. centimeters of that. Um, but it's the volume all the way down her. She doesn't yeah. pinch at the tail. No. She's a I mean, girl. if somebody's looking for a log in the pond, this is the one, isn't it? This is it, yeah, absolutely. There's a bit of food on here. Yeah, well. and actually, that's exactly what I'm going to say. Somebody might say, it, uh, someone might say the body is not there, but it just needs mm. feeding. It's only at nine degrees and it's, it hasn't been fed a lot. How long have you had it in? Um, this came in around about March, April time. Um, Last year? Yeah. Yeah, so it hasn't been fed too much. So if this goes into that pond that's looking for a statement koi, then this is this, a fish. This is certainly her. She, mm. she was very, very rotund when she was um, harvested. And 
even when she was shit, she's still a very large fish. She's slimmed, yeah. slimmed down a little bit, and that's only because we feed the main pond once a day. Right. Um, and also, there's a lot of competition in there. There's, there's 30, 40 fish in there. Yeah. Um, and we don't want to overfeed to cause any um, quality issues with the water. We've got yeah. such, such expensive stock. The last thing we want is any water problems. Yeah. Problem. So once a day is enough just to keep them ticking over, to condition them nicely. Um, and then someone, when they take them home, will be very yeah. surprised at how much they do put on volume-wise. Yeah. Well, this fish is listed here on your book. It's, yep. it's on the website as well, All Adam? of these fish are on the website. Everything yeah. I'm showing you today, all bar one of them, I think. Right. So they're and all there. They're all referenced. So if, if anyone has got any queries or anything like that or wants a separate video, by all means, drop yeah. me an email. Uh, Adam at queenie-coy.co.uk. Okay. Okay. Uh, and what's and the website? You put me on the spot there. <laughs> Just Google it. Just Google Queen of Koi. That's right. it. We're at the top there. Somewhere. And you are also on Instagram. We're on Instagram. We're, we're developing the Instagram a little bit more, but yeah. uh, our, our strongest page is still our Facebook page. Right. Uh, I think 17,000 likes. So a lot of people looking there. Yeah. And we'll constantly update with sort of what we're doing each week and what we're photographing and just what the team are up to. Really, and you've got a forum as well insight. for your members and your... We have got Queenie Coy Keepers, which is a separate entity on Facebook as well yeah. for those that, yeah. you know, a um, bit more of a community yeah. base in there as well rather than just, you know, a yeah. business page. So, a nice mix. And I, I love the shop, Adam. You've done some a lot of hard work. There's Thank lots. You. Somebody could come in here and... I know the sunlight is good, but it's against the camera, but I'll overlay pictures. But there's lots, you've got drums, you've got food, you've got ceramic koi as well. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, yeah, the koi model's a great seller at the show. You've also got your own brand of koi food as well? We do, yeah, we do yeah. our own complete range, right from the, uh, the wheat germ winter stuff all the way through to the high protein yeah. summer food, so we do that here. And um, you do all the medicine as well. Absolutely, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so it's a one-stop shop, everything is yeah. here, net sock. Behind you there's air hoses, yep. there's stuff to remove chlorine behind you there, there's all pipes, connectors, everything, K1 media. We've had a bit home. of a revamp with the pipe work section because yeah. uh, it was looking a bit tired and dated, so we thought yeah. we'd colour code it accordingly as well. Well, I come here and buy my bits, as you know, you see me sometimes. Absolutely, just, yeah. Cause you're run in and <laughs> run back out again. Yeah, I'm 12 minutes, you're 12 minutes from me, so this is my local shop as, shop as it is, so... Um, I'm blessed to have you right there and, and I must say Adam looks after me every time I come I Thanks. phone him and he answers and say yeah we have it or no we'll get it for yeah, you. I'll do my best. Yeah, yeah. But to see this fish Adam, it's such a lovely creature. It's beautiful. You know, Very and um, we'll ham feed as yeah. well which is not always that easy in this environment yeah. because there's a lot going on. Yeah. There are a lot of koi competing, you don't always get the chance to ham feed but fortunately with a couple of these bigger girls they're that greedy that they will even in this environment. Yes. Um, she's fantastic. Well, lovely, yeah. lovely fish. So, thank you for showcasing this koi. Yeah. It's, a, it's an honor, it's a privilege really to see it. And uh, it's yeah. so big. Let me raise the camera a bit higher so I could get it all in. And people could get to enjoy. It's always very hard photographing and videoing koi because the scale never comes across no. on the screen. No. Just for something different, we're going to look at a kahaku. Uh, they say the hobby starts and ends on Kahaku, mm -hmm. so we're going to look at them, so we're going to look at a Hoshkin. They obviously like Hoshkin at Quinnacoy, mm -hmm. <laughs> so they've got a lot of Hoshkin uh, fish. So we're going to look at this particular Kahaku, and then also they've got a Hoshkin um, shower here that we may look at as well um, while I'm here. It's an absolute beautiful day in Leicester. Oop, I put my hands around. It's a beautiful day in Leicester. The sun is right in right in here, so I'm kind of squinting my eyes. Um, but yeah, Adam, just spending the day with Adam. It's my day off. We came over doing some filming. Let me put my glasses on. I can hardly see. So we saw spending the day with Adam. Uh, my day off, just filming some fish. What a great time to just do some koi nerd and stuff. Do uh, share in the comment section because what Quinico is going to do is everybody who shares in the or comments in the comment section. Adam's going to pick you up. Uh, you might be able to come over. Well, you will be able to come over if he chooses you. And you'll get a Rastakoi free mug for free. This is the Yumikoi Harvest Mud uh, mug. Let me do it without dropping it. Although it will make good footage. There you go. So you could come over to Adam. He's going to do this as a giveaway. But you need to comment, like and comment in the comment section of the YouTube video. 
and uh, Adam would choose somebody then you could come over to the farm uh, to the farm to the shop and collect one of these so I think Adam's ready so let's go back see what he's doing here So this is the Hoskin Kahaku ATCM six-year-old. Six-year-old rocket launch. Very clean. There you go. Six-year-old ATCM. As Adam already said, very clean on here. <coughs> So like I said, I've never been to Hoshkin Koi Farm. No. I've not been to the north of Japan as yet. I've, in, in a, many times I've been, I've only gone down south. Um, obviously I heard of the Hoshkin fish and I That's have had Hoshkin really. myself. Um, so to see this one here, it's very, very, it's a good thing to experience and see it in the farm itself. I must say it's very clean, not 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 a mark on it whatsoever. Yeah. Not a with a little bit of stress on her, she's uh, yeah, she's held up, held up well. And in this little bit of sunlight we get in now, you can see the Benny quality. It's very very nice. You could continue holding her. We get to see the yeah. get to see the kiwa. It's got yeah, nice Marizomi kiwa there as well. Nice kiwa on her. There you go. You may not see this, but Adam is absolutely bent over like a giraffe drinking water. <laughs> He's so tall. What God gave Adam in height, he gave me in good looks. So. <laughs> it's a lovely, lovely fish. She's beautiful. Yeah. Nice temperament on her as well. Sounds silly, but when you work with them for so long, yeah. you, know, you get to know each characteristic and personality yeah. trait. Well, there's some fish you know you need two people when you met him. Yes, absolutely. And you yeah. need to eat in a bowl. And you, some fish you know it's going to be all right. Some of them are just relaxed. Yeah, yeah. Usually the uh, more lively ones are your kajakis and your akinatsuvas. Oh, yes. They're the ones yeah. that you're on standby for. Yeah. No, this just needs some food and good water and it will Except blossom to what it should be, you know. She's got the frame. She's got the head. Also spine produced. And it's not sold, so it's available. There you go, if you want inquiry, there's a reference number there, you call Adam, and I'm sure he'll be more than willing to help you out. Absolutely. And in, honestly, all these fish will be in that sale, so the... Oh, they're in the sale as well? Three season, everything is in the sale. Oh, oh so all what these. we filmed before? Everything. So that, what, do you know what percentage of? Uh, I've got to look at this pond individually because obviously they cost a But they will be in the sale. But they will be in the sale. Right, yeah. okay. So Absolutely. the prices we've shown, there will be a little bit of a discount on yeah. that. For, for nine days at the end of January. Absolutely. Right. There you go. So you've got nine days to pull the trigger. That's it. Go to your bank manager and <laughs> sit down. Well worth it. Pre season, yeah. lovely. Wow. Right, so we've just film finished filming. We've just finished filming, I should say, the Bain Pond. We're gonna, and I know some, some of these fish you're looking at, you'll probably think, lovely, but I wouldn't be able, or you wouldn't be able to afford this in a million years. Well, we're gonna look at some of the other ponds now that Adam has. He's over there looking, and uh, more affordable fish. And then also, we're gonna pick a fish for a raffle, Adam, is that right? No. You're gonna give me a challenge of, I will indeed, yes. so let's get you on camera. We'll get two okay. of us on camera. So. You can see the height difference now. I, I'm in a, I'm stood in a hole, so Adam looks taller. So what are you going to do? What are we going to do? We're going to so part of our pre-season sale that's coming up at the end of January. Yeah. Um, there will be a category for those customers who have bought something with us. They'll automatically right. be entered into like a prize draw, and they'll have a choice of five fish to um, right. select yeah. for free. Um, don't have to sign up or do anything. You're automatically entered. If you bought something online or in the shop with us here, right. and another thing we're doing is like a it's a raffle effectively. So I'm going to task Chip the um, the duty of selecting a koi for that raffle. Okay, yeah. Up to a thousand pounds, he can pick anything that he likes, uh, okay. and that will be the raffle prize for someone to enter. Um, tickets for that will be just five pounds. So uh, a really exciting little thing, or we'll just do a random random draw from a, an online generator with all the uh, references for those okay. people that have entered. And then if people also 
with a five pound. If you if you comment in the comment section, uh, I will put all the links in the description that you can have a look at. But I will be digging through your pond Absolutely. to find the fish. Yeah. So I've got permission. You've seen it online. I've got permission. Come up to a thousand pounds. So trust me, we're going to make it worth your while. That's so it. I'm going to find a fish that I like. It, there's no favoritism. And I'm going to find a female as well, Adam. Mm -hmm. Right? So I know, I know there's males and females, but I'm going to find it for you. And uh, yeah, it's a good bit of fun for the day. That's so it. let's have a look at this pond and see what we could find behind us. So this pond just came out of quarantine, is that yep. right? Yeah. So we're going to just have a look at a few fish in here, and these range in different prices. Um, starting at what, Adam? Um, some of the smaller ones starting at five, six, nine, five. Right, and all the way up to yep. uh, bigger money. Um, so there's something for everybody in here, and we're just going to bowl a few fish. There's a Sankey in here that's down there that um, we'll have a look at. That's a big, big fish. Big expensive fish, but big nice fish as well. There's also some uh, Saragoy, Akamasuba, some Sankeys, um, some things I don't know what it is. <laughs> uh, a copper looking Ogoni, I don't know. So, but some, lots of stuff for you to have a look at. So, and Asagi as well. Um, he at Suri's. You can tell I'm a, a Go Sanki man. That's kind of. it, yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, some lovely fish for people to look at. And uh, not everybody is into the same all the time. People like different things. And uh, so this pond is just out of QT. Mm -hmm. So if you're coming, you're going to go visit. If you're going to visit Leicester, you're coming to visit Quinicoy. Would these also be included in your sale as well? These will be, yeah. Okay. I mean, they're much more budget-friendly fish anyway. If yeah. someone wanted a large 50, 60 centimetre koi, um, but doesn't have you know, the biggest budget to spend on that, yeah. these fall under that bracket anyway, but okay. then there will be a significant discount on them at the right. end of January as well. Okay, so, yeah, we'll just have a uh, We wouldn't bother taking them, putting them in, because we want to move over some fish. I've seen some fish in your quarantine section down there. Yeah. Some Tamora fish, and he's smiling because there's one that I particularly like. Um, it's very nice female, and uh, I may see if I could sneak it from his hand to throw it into the raffle box. We'll see whether he let me. It's very nice, and I, I don't know. We'll, but I'll work my magic, and we'll see if we could get him to, to let it go. But there's some fish here. We're going to have a quick... Uh, put some of these in a the bowl. We could put a couple in, two or three yeah, of them in, yeah. and then you could talk through them as well. But this is newly been out of quarantine fish here at Clinical. Yeah. So we getting out this uh, Sankey. I call it the big expensive Sankey because it's not a cheap, cheap fish, but it's still. Uh, what's the breed on that, Adam? So this is Marahiro. Marahiro. So that's the one with the round pond. Is, right, so okay. She was the only fish that we managed to buy last year from the big round pond. Right, okay. The old converted swimming pool at Marihira. Obviously uh, known worldwide for their large, for large examples. And a huge, huge variety in fish in that pond. I mean, you'll see go sanky, single colours, everything. So we're really pleased to be able to secure her. What's the size of this, do you know? I believe she's 74 cm 74. Uh, and she's just turned 5. So she was purchased as Yonsai right. and kept as a Kari for one year at Marihiro. Right. And she went back out in a mud pond, put on a little bit more volume and was harvested this October. It looks bigger than 74. Yeah, she's, I think, she's I think voluminous. She's the volume is really good on it, so that's, it, it gives the impression that it's bigger. She's got that lovely like Matsunoski gin to yeah. the skin, which really, yeah. really shows well in that midsection there. Yeah. But this is a fish that isn't on the website. Um, no one would have seen her before unless they came down yeah. um, over Christmas for our open day. Um, so she's one that we've had tucked away. Right. So people watching this now, you're looking up at me, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for a change. <laughs> for a change. <laughs> But that's no, a good angle to have because this yeah. is how you know this is how you view coins. This Japan, is how you, know, you this appreciate is, it, yes, exactly. You know, yeah. When you're at Marihira, you're, you're, you're looking, looking down, down at that round yeah. pond and this is the exact angle you'd yeah. see her, so it's nice to have that aspect. You know, a lot and of customers have windows nowadays, but originally, yes. you know, Koya are down. meant to be from yeah. above, yeah, absolutely. And for for the viewers watching this, 
I declined the use of a ladder to get up on the pond. <laughs> I did, didn't I, Adam? The, I did, the offer was there, absolutely. I did one jump and I went straight up here, so not so bad it for... Like, it was like a gazelle. <laughs> not bad for coming up to a 52-year-old, I guess. Jeez. But it's the best sunlight on her. Because this is the first time she's been out since quarantine. There you go, so, so. If, some, if somebody is interested in this koi, Adam, because I know it's not... Mm. You're kind of giving me the vibe. It's for sale, but it's not... It's not it is for sale. Of course she is. Yeah. It's just not on the website at the yeah. moment. I just haven't had a chance to look at the pricing, what the shipping costs, everything right, yeah, like yeah. that. Um, but they need, to, they need to connect with you direct, right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. This is the one fish that isn't on the website at the minute. Mm. Um, in that sort of thousand and over category. So yeah. She will be shortly, once I get a chance to photograph them individually. Yeah. Um, but until then, yeah, by all means, drop yeah. me an email or a message. My phone number is on the website, so... Okay. You can always find What's your that. email? Uh, Adam at queenie-koi.co.uk And I'll put it in the description of the video as Thank well, you. so Appreciate we'll that. get that. Sorry. I'll put the website in the description, because yep. I put a lot of pressure on you to remember a lot of stuff. <laughs> a lot of details. <laughs> the, the Contact Us page on the website shows my work number yeah. um, for koi and inquiries, and also the dry goods team of Marcus, oh, yeah. that size, his number's on there as well. Right, okay. So, so you can get in touch with either yeah. of us. And uh, I guess if somebody wants to reserve anything they saw, can they reserve it, but they need a deposit kind of Absolutely. thing? Absolutely. So the um, procedure here is anything over £500, they may put a deposit down. Right. Um, anything under will have to be paid for in full. Yeah, yeah. Um, so if, if a coin is, say, for example, it's listed at £3,000, then the minimum that you can put down is a 50% deposit right. or anything greater than that, just to secure it, take it off sale, um, and then you can pay the rest on collection just to make sure you're happy with okay. it. And if they paid for one and like a smaller one fold mm. and they're not happy with it, they can jump onto another one? They can, so you yeah. can you can exchange any fish that's the same value or greater. Right, so that's okay. not a problem. All right, cool. That's fair enough. Mm -hmm. There you go. So yeah, if you want to know more about this one, contact Adam directly. And so we put a... I say we, I didn't do anything. <laughs> Adam, I got him to do a selection of some... Well, I like the Kajaku and uh, Saro boy. So this coppery thing, it's amazing. What What is it? So originally I had thought along the Deutz Makashi line because nice. it's got that sort of tone to it. And we were in quarantine, they did darken up a lot. So, But since more, we put it in the bowl, it looks more golden-y. Yeah, it's beautiful. But then in yeah. the pond, I mean, the contrast the other one in yeah. there, it's more like a, a Deutz Kabuto, to be honest. And I wonder if it has to do with the pond, but it's just a lovely, lovely, weird, massive, if you've got a window in your pond. Um, so what sort of, this is just a selection for Marisai and... Marisai and Hero. Right, okay. Um, so there's a mix of prices in there, like the 1500 for these two in the middle. Right. I think 1100 off the top of right. my head, and the like Kajaku at 700 but again, all these fish will be in that sale. Oh, so they'll be included in a 25%? Yeah, absolutely. Even, yeah. even stuff that's just out of quarantine now will be included. There's, there's not one right. fish that's excluded from the sale. Wow, so I'll choose the right day to come along absolutely. so you can have a look. So, comment in the comment section below if you like that there, <laughs> because your comment might win you a raster mug. And Adam, you could come to Adam and get it yourself. Um, it's going to be a divisive one, that one. I, yeah. I like the bar of gold effect. It's female, isn't it? It is, yeah. It is female as well. It's, so it's Nisai as well. It's, that's a big Nisai. It is, yeah. Yeah. So if you're looking for something weird and wonderful, and the mouth is absolutely massive on it, so you know it's going to eat you out of house and home. You've got <laughs> two, right? We have two. We have this one and a slightly more heavy scaled one. Right. And they're both females? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so if you want to come and grab a bag in one of these, they're going to be 25% off uh, kind of thing. Um, but, you know, <laughs> I, I'm finding it hard to admit this, Adam, but my eyes keep drawing to this know, thing. It's, oh, just, it's, just, it's just, it's just uh, so, on, especially this tail. Maybe if you can hold it up to where the side, all, let people have a look. Where the scales the are. The scales and the tail is just like, look at it. Yeah, oh, it's, it's amazing. It's going to devise opinion, that one. But yeah, it's almost like carp that people fish for. Yes, yeah, almost. It is, isn't it? Similar yeah. traits to that of a common. Yeah, but the, the mouth is huge on it. But all of these are great selection of koi. So this would be in their sale coming up. Um, I know it sounds like I'm plugging their sale. Well, I am, because if you're looking for a bargain, 
then why not? Why not tell people there's some bargains to be had? Get one. They, and could all, they could all be kept till the end of March, isn't yeah. it? So the and then all, overwintering still included in all these fish. And then also they get a chance of winning some fish as well That's it, with yeah, every purchase. We've got it all going on. Yeah, the golden yeah. ticket as well, which yeah. you know, we'll just be put in one tub of food. Yeah. Um, and whoever receives that tub of food will get a hundred pounds credit right. for there you go. anything spent on store. So yeah. little things like that, yeah, just yeah. holding an interest pre-season, you know. Yeah. Just, getting the hobby kick-started at the beginning, Absolutely. Of, a, beginning of a new Absolutely. season. So this is in pond, are there pond numbers or this is just... So these are, we've got 1 to 12, which is the smaller ponds. The pond smaller ponds. you got A, B, a, B C, C and Delta. D. D right, so this is just out of this, if you want to come, if you come to Quinnicoy this weekend, this is Pond B, Adam, is that it right? Is, yeah, pond B. B, so have a look there. These we took out, and if you're looking for the golden thing, <laughs> As I call it, Adam Adam knows more about that than I do. But I, I do find it fascinating and I do like it. Um, weirdly, I don't know if I should admit it on camera, I like it, but it's just, I do, I do find it weird. But it will grow huge, because look at the mouth and the head and the structure well, on it. Uh, it. It just wouldn't be a small fish. It's a good example of a four-year-old one, isn't it? Oh, let, let's have, let's bring it up, the four-year-old. Yeah, you don't have to bowl it, but yeah. we could bring it up, have a look at it. That's so this is a Deutsch four-year-old Makashi, like the golden one. But this is a beast. What do you know? What sort of price this is? Um, I think she's on the website for five. So this is on the website, and it will be included in the sale as well, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. She yeah. Percent, so I don't know. She's seventy centimeter. Yeah, but four-year-old. Oh, it's it's, it's blinging. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. It catches the, light. the sunlight. It's bling blinging fish. So. Yeah, that's included. Fantastic. Yeah, lovely, 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 lovely. <laughs> we got Adam to bowl the sister. Will you say yes, sister? Yes, yeah, they're in the same and, ponds. Uh, you'll probably get to see it in real time as it lightens up. Um, but just as a comparison between these two uh, things, and I can see it lightening up already. Uh, I don't know if anybody it's will like pick a, it up on the camera. but a chameleon of a fish. Water. Yeah, just, just amazing. But they both have structure where they don't have that hump behind the head. Uh, like Rancho Goldfish. Ooh. I see some people put fish on Facebook and it's a good body and it's got a massive hump behind yeah. the head. Yeah, it's not meant to be a Rancho, it's meant to be a coin. So um, these these have good body, good structure on them as well. The shape is good. They're just a... Uh, <laughs> if you've got a window, especially with them sort of scales on there, they're just fascinating that these two would be... And this has got even lighter I since know. it's been The here. more you watch it, the more it turns into yeah. the... Yeah. A very light gold. But you can see, look at that one, it's just already it's just it's amazing. Thing. Lovely metallic purple yeah. sheens to it as well in the let's sunlight. Pull it to the side and let's see the scales on the side because this has more lineage, linear scale. I think it that's does, what yeah. Oh, look at that. It's much more like a common. Wow. <laughs> if you're a carp angler and a koi keeper, this is probably the koi for you. Absolutely. Carl, Fishwood Carl is watching this video. <laughs> Carl, we found your. Carl grew up where you grew up. He did, yeah, yeah. In a, yeah, not too far away. Right, like okay. sort of village over type thing. Right, so Carl, you're watching this. We've, I've told Adam this fish is for you to come and have a look at. So yeah. I think this will be right up your street, young man. So yeah, we, we took a bit of a punt in bringing some unusual things yeah. over, to be honest. But, you know, we appreciate that not everyone has the same taste. So no. Why not? Let's but, offer something a bit different. Yeah, I know Carl's weird anyway, so he would like this. <laughs> Likes his single colours, too. Yeah, he does like a single colour fish. He knows what I mean. Um, but that's just... That's...
There you go, Akamatsuba. 1500 quid. Lively, I think the water temperature is 21 degrees here. Yeah, so. they're, they're coming down. They will be yeah. at 16 in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, so the next people, couple of weeks they'll be down. Most but heated customers will be able to take her away. It's the first time it's been in the bowl since Japan, right? Yes. Yeah, so it's a bit wiry, but yeah, you could come and get this one. So we're just having a coffee break. The sun's out in Leicester, can you believe it? Look at it, look at the sunshine. Crazy. So I'm having my coffee break and Adam and I are looking at these ponds here. Just chilling, having a coffee in the sunshine. And uh, I told them, let me grab the camera because I put it on charge. And then we're looking at these and I thought, you know what, let's film these. So these here uh, is, I think the first pond as you enter. So these are the first pond as you enter. If you know Quinnacoy, you come in through the front door here. And there's the car park. If you've never been, this is the car park area. Beautiful Leicester, Leicestershire. This is in Burstall and Warnlip. These are all the facilities here. So you walk in and what I'm gonna show you now is as you enter, it's on the right side, there's uh, all these ponds down here. Adam already told me how many ponds there are. Um, but these, look at these in the sunlight. There's a little Ochiba here that looks really nice. I think it's male. Um, and look at that. Look at that. It's an Ochiba, look at that. Pretty pattern. If you want to pattern Ochiba, and I think it's male. Um, and these would also be all included in the sale. Adam, these are all in the sale as well, right? That's all these ponds are going to be in the sale. So I think it'd be 25% off. 25% off. But so just for an example, this Ochiba that I pointed out, what sort of money would that be, Adam? Uh, I think it's probably a little between five, so it'd be around 300. Yeah. So 300 quid. There you go. Comment in a section, screenshot it, come over to Quinnipoy, the sale starts this Saturday. This Saturday. So I'm going to try to get this video out there. So we looked at these, we looked in here, these ones as well. These are all included in the sale. There's some nice sheer cherries and things. I'm just having a coffee and looking around with Adam because we're gonna move some other fish, but just stumble the first these. Fish guys in the Omasaka. Yeah. Some really some stuff I don't know the name of. Um, yeah. Adam will tell you the name. <laughs> He's more adverse than those ones that I am. And some of that sort of golden bling thing from my here to here as well. There's a female one. And that's 195 minus 25 percent, right? Those, yeah. Wow, that's incredible. So, as you can see, and I know somebody's going to think, are you advertising? Well, of course, because you would help hate me not to do it if these bargains are to be had. Now, currently these are in QT, yeah. but Adam said they will be out as soon as you do the last scrape on them. Yeah. So they'll be ready for the weekend. Uh, yes, they? yeah, they will be. So, um, yeah. obviously, I've just got to write my last section on the yeah. board just to do my last test. And if, if you look how pedantic Adam is, if you want to know how he does his QT, they do two heat ramps, is that right? Yeah, so they had the first one a couple of weeks ago and then yeah. drop into the second one. And you can see the salt and the temperature and the date. So, um, and all the ponds I've been in the QT area, all the ponds are listed as that. This, These are a mixture of what, Frida? And these are all Mario. Right? Oh, all Mario. Uh, okay. There's 60 fish in a thousand gallons, which seems oh. extreme, but when you're quarantining them, yeah. this is about the limit for that. Well, so. you're not feeding them, you're quarantining them, so. Yeah, yeah. wheat germ every couple of couple days. Of days yeah. So them. these will be ready by the weekend, and there are some decent sized Nisai in here. Um, there's some Marasai. Chags in here, these are now, is this correct now, Sancho? Yeah, this, this is like a, a smaller stocking of um, stuff that was Nissai last year, it's just turned sand size, so yeah. priced accordingly. And yeah, so if you're looking for, nice. especially if you've got a window, um, and you're looking for small stuff, one of them EZ ponds, yes. this would look pretty in there, Absolutely. Uh, as Some well. Nice toys, yeah. yeah, and then um, over here we've got some more, like I said, I'm just having a coffee walking around, so. This is kind of unscripted. Yeah, so well, nothing is scripted really, but there you go. Some uh, yeah, small inside, small inside, small inside. That's, yeah. that's they are also affordable. And these are all discounted as well. They will be. Yeah. yeah? I've got yeah. a look at the percentages on those, but yeah. conveniently you just mentioned that. I do know this entire pond will be fifty percent off. Oh, fifty percent off. There you go. Literally, whatever price you see on these, they will be half that. Half price. 
There you go. So all this uh, half price coming from the weekend or from straight away, really? Uh, from, from, yeah, from, from the sat weekend. From Saturday, yeah. From Saturday, these will all be 50% off. So, all the already and they're all doing the same yeah. And um, there's a, what's the breeders in here? Uh, you, you've got Icarashi Toshinobu, you've yeah. got Marathon, you've got Yamazaki. Right, so all, all northern breeders. Yes, and Nagoshi is in there as well. Nagoshi as well. So there's quite a few to look at. Um, these, is a, these are a mishmash of um, some older stocks, so some stuff from Tamora. Some Tamora. Some Momotaro, they've given Momotaro quite a lot of people to come to. Yes, patch Is it still for sale? It's still for sale, but it will be in the sale. Is it female? That one I have to refresh the video. They should be, they're all selected as female. Okay. But uh, obviously they're selected as pros I so yeah. it's much harder to tell at that age. Oh, I remember some of these, the one yes. the top one. Yeah, yeah, we've just yeah. moved them to accommodate the new stock we've been moving today, but she is female, 34 centimetres, just turned this side. Momontaro as well. Yeah, with a certificate. Yeah. If you see the fish freaking out, this is an interesting thing. That's a van that they drove yes. by, presuming to do a delivery. That's yeah. And it's probably a hundred yards, two hundred yards away. Yeah. And the door slammed, freaked them out. That's to show you, as a as a fisherman, how vibration works in the water. Anyhow, back to Koi. Yeah. <laughs> um, some of these are lovely. Okay, they're small for their size, but if you're in the Koi shows and you want something to grow on over the winter period, there's some things to play from here. Most more of the 25%. 25%. A lot of them are 400 pounds as it is. So yeah, there you go. So, lovely things in there. So. Yeah, lovely skin quality. And this is a, a bit of a mishmash of colours yeah. here. But it's, uh, and this is the pond closest to the hill. So if you yeah. just for, if you want to know where we are, this is. It's a lot of attention, so we've got a lot of vibrant colours in there to, yeah. to, to catch the eye. Yeah. So we, have, we have, let's go this way because the sun, the sunlight, some, yeah, you go behind me, there you go. So we've spent a, the morning, well, a couple of hours doing some of the big stuff, some of the yep. uh, uh, lovely fish that you got over there. Mm. Oh, it's lovely feeling the sun on my back. I know, it's pretty <laughs> blind in this way. Um, but we're going to look at some tomorrow yes. um, in a quarantine, that's come out of quarantine. And they're going to be available as well for the weekend. That's it. They're um, in our, currently in our new release section on the website. So they went up a week ago. Right. So this is really the first chance that people have seen them yes, um, okay. on camera. So yeah. we're going to move them all into our shop because they're out the back at the moment. Right. So we'll get some lovely shots of some old photos and videos of uh, Tamora, yeah. uh, Momotaro, and some other cam pieces as well. Yeah, yeah. Lots of going, some really lovely Easter showers actually. I've got that, even though they're probably the, the most stand out of the batch. So we just looked at all these ponds and Adam was talking about his their food range they do. Kenko, is that the right name? That's it, that's our own brand. And, stuff. Uh, yep. This is their own exclusive to Quinico, is that it right? It is, yes. Okay. So um, for those of you, because I feed Saki Hikari, but not everybody can afford that kind of food. No, and you're going to mention this ticket thing, but yeah, tell us a little bit about expense. tell us a little bit about your food, Kenko. So, so all our food here is exclusive to us. This one in particular, I've bought over because it's one of our best sellers. So okay. it's a nice 42 percent like staple diet, um, and can be fed down to 13 degrees as well. So a really low temperature food, but right. you get some really good growth results from it. Um, it is exclusive to us. It is. Uh, built up from coppins, right. um, but with this particular mix of pellets, it is exclusive to Queen Ikoi, the same right. with our Japan mix and some of our other, mm -hmm. like winter mix and things like that. So it's something that we bring over, we repackage here in the UK, right. um, and obviously it gets our own branding of Kenko. Right. And so tell us about this golden ticket. So something that Dean, I can't take credit for this, something that Dean came up with yeah. uh, was the idea to put a golden ticket within one tub of food. So not the bags, not the sacks, but just the small two okay. and three kilo tubs. Um, if you're the lucky winner of that golden ticket, you get a hundred pounds in credit on your account. So wow. um, we're not going to obviously disclose what tub it's in. It will just go out at random or be collected here in store. It will just be in a tub. Okay. Um, so whoever gets that, just get in contact with us, point the reference on the back and you get a hundred pounds to spend in store online. So something for everybody mm. in that way. And 
you know, like I said, I, I feed sake ikari, but I didn't start off no. feeding sake ikari, and not everybody no, can afford no. the cost rates of, and I order a lot. I mean, this, from August last year till now, I've fed, fed 21 bags of sake wow. ikari, okay. and they're 15 kg bags and some 20 kg yeah. bags, right? Mm -hmm. But that's me, I'm different, mm -hmm. and like as Guido, Red Label says, I'm special. <laughs> It's but a lot of food. It's a it's lot, a lot of, of food. Sense, but, but if you start off the hobby in this channel, and, and koi keep is not just about guys at the level like I go to Japan buy fish. Yeah, yeah Queenie Koi has for that level as well. Because you do, I can sort of you do JPD, you do, do FD, FD well, food. So you you got you you've got foods at that yeah, level. Absolutely. However, for people who are new, this is what this channel is about. Yeah. I've just dug a koi pond, or I bought a EZ yeah. pond, or a Denby pond, uh, or a pond. And I want to start the hobby. They're not going to start down no, there. We, we yeah. cater for all wallets, not yeah. just from the koi front, but also the dry goods perspective yes. as well. You know, we, we do our own wheat germ here that's yeah. you know less than twenty pounds for a small two kilo tub. Yeah. So it, it's affordable for those customers that again don't want or can't afford to feed the very big expensive foods like sake yeah. and FD. And, yeah. and we we feed our own food here to these koi in the shop. So I think the quality of that speaks for itself as well. Yeah. I'll be honest, it's not always the same, it's whatever bag splits. Yeah. Um, but if I do want to condition a fish, I will use our ultimate koi, uh, ultimate mix range, yeah. just because it has that variety in there yeah. for a nice staple food. So it's great quality stuff and doesn't doesn't actually foul the water a lot either as well. So what's the price range? I know I'm putting you on the spot. So like oh, a big bag, my best. So a big bag is how much? Big bag, 15 kilos of that ultimate mix is 115 currently. So that's 115 quid yeah, for 15 it, kg. It will be in the sale as well. So that will be 25% off on a weekend? No, so dry goods, I haven't clarified it with Marcus yet, yeah. 10 to 15%. 10 to 15%, okay. To be confirmed on that. Okay. Um, this is 59.95. So 60 quid roughly. 60 yeah. quid for six kilos yeah. and the little tub is 29.95. But you've got a chance to get a 100 quid Absolutely, voucher yeah. golden ticket. Yeah. So obviously this is the, the ultimate range yeah. that we do. We do an ultimate colour and an ultimate koi which is a high protein 49% mm. growth food. Um, but then we've also got the other end of the spectrum is our standard range. So you've mm. got Japan mix which is the staple diet and cheap alternative for the ultimate mix yeah. and you've got premium growth and um, what else have we got the wheat germ summer mix and winter mix so right. a really nice variety and there is um, a health and vitality as well which is really budget friendly and yeah. um, for those that may even have goldfish in, in the pond and you yeah. know aren't willing to spend a lot on food to chuck at them yeah all right so right over adam's shoulder there you'll see all the bags of food treatments there the, the, the shelves you know, it's nice, Adam, to see shelves stocked full, yes. and clean, very clean. I give you that. You, you, you. have the place very We've clean. We've had a bit of a revamp with yeah. the, the shelving and the, the look of it all. It was looking a little yeah. bit dated. You know, we've been here seven years, so the UV, the sun does damage a lot yeah. of equipment. And um, and the, the shelving in particular, the labels do get a bit of damage. But so. you keep the shop in good condition, very Thank clean, you, yeah. well stocked. And uh, people always ask me, can I buy a koi that would never fail? Well, Adam... <laughs> And Quinny Koi has Koi that would never fail. And they're right in the top shelf yeah. there. So if you look at those those ones there, you could buy them and they should never fail unless your dog chews it, them up. The only uh, irony is this very first one yeah. has been dropped, so it has got a crack in it. Oh. So that, ironically, is the only one that has, failed, that has but failed. Everything else is yeah, much fine. easier to treat and look after. <laughs> there you go. But everything. Sun is shining. Anyhow, let's head over now and look at this Tamora fish. Um, I was at Tamora Koi Farm. And uh, for those of you who haven't seen that video, you could look on the channel and you could see the video that I was at Tamora Koi Farm and purchased one of the really nice Sankey that is now staying at the farm to be grown on and stuff like that. This year I'll be flying back to Japan and uh, hopefully I'll get to see it then. Fingers crossed it turns out great. Um, so we're going to look at these fish. The staff is in there. The breeze is blowing. It's a little bit cold, but sun is shining. So that's all good. Let's head back inside and see what we can find. Oh, and if you do like this channel, do press like and subscribe, share the channel, comment in the section below uh, because your name's going to be drawn out of a hat in the comment section, uh, on the like section, the subscribe section. So there's some prizes coming up with a mug and uh, you'll be able to do that with Quinnicoid himself and Adam. All right, so peace out. I'm honest, yeah. I'll say that these are sand size. They're not, yeah. they're not large this side, they're sand size and they're male. Okay. But they're extremely striking. And, um, 
I see a lot better value than that of a large female at this size. Yeah. yeah. So what sort of price would these be? Um, you know? These are currently listed for 11, 12, maybe 1400. Okay. Um, I will and there, and there would be this I just don't know what um, what discount to put on them at the moment. Okay. Um, but they've come out of quarantine as of yesterday. Oh, so they're out of QT. Yeah. Right, so. so they were scraped yesterday. So I go through and randomly sample five different okay. fish. And if I don't find anything on the scrapes, then I'm happy with the gills. And they're out. Yeah, okay. So, so people could come and get these on the outside. Yeah, they're they're yeah. currently heated to 18, and I'm just going to drop them another couple of degrees okay. before they're, before they're uh, moved out into the shop because everything out there is around about 16. Okay. So during our pre season sale um, at the end of January, we will be selecting someone at random who's spent £50 or over with us. So okay. if you've spent £50 in store on food, or if you spent £50 or above online, you'll automatically be entered into a, a draw. We'll randomly generate your receipt number, and if you are the lucky winner, you've got the chance to pick one of these five fish. So you can pick any single one of them. They range from sort of £800 up to £1,100. For free? And they're absolutely free. So wow. all you have to do is literally buy a bag of wheat germ, Fluke Soul Plus, and you're automatically entered. There's no like, share, subscribe, any of that. Yeah. It's just... Buy Pay something. fifty pounds for us or anything greater than, and you're automatically entered. And that's in store, or online as well. It is. So okay. they're both will be combined. So we'll do obviously all our um, receipt confirmations from yeah. online, and all our receipts here will be kept on the till. Um, and then we'll just go through and randomly generate one. Okay. And these are the certificates that we've put out. Um, we've left the prices on, so you can see it's legit. We didn't block out any prices. Nope. Um, these are the fish, so there's Tamora, there's Issa, there's a lovely Issa show over there. Uh, there's Issa, there is also Odekan, uh, Otsuka, and Otsuka there. So these are the fish here, that's the certificate. So you get a chance to win one of these. Um, which is your favorite, Adam? For me, yeah, just for I'm, a big, I'm a big fan of Akage Shiro, to be honest. I okay. think I'm music, but I really like the pattern on the key at Okay, key at Suru. It's not going to be to everyone's face. Yeah. I really, really like that fish. Yeah, well, I, I'm not a key at Suru man. Yeah. Uh, and everybody's different, you know. This is the beauty of the hobby, yeah. isn't it? For me, I like the Issa show. Yeah. I mean, that's a show ready. That could go in a Koi show as well. Um, if you're not a show or fan, the equally, the Sankey from Tamora uh, is lovely as well. And I think it's female. It's 47 centimeter female, lovely white ground in it and uh, you could you maybe the camera may not pick it up but there's Sumi to come right on the shoulder there as well um, so they're they're my choices there um, but I still got to pick a fish for the ra uh, do, yeah. for so there's raffle a, there's a separate raffle which yeah. Chip has been given the honor of selecting one fish for one that trip. raffle these are as part of a giveaway yeah. um, for any customer that's bought a product with us okay. 50 pounds or over during that nine day period of sale so mm -hmm. we'll, we'll do the reveal at the end of the month okay. um, and let everyone know who's, who's got the option of one of these beautiful five fish so the guys have um, just netted some more Issa showers to come in I've got my sunglasses on my head because the sun is quite bright at the moment which is good for filming yeah so they've netted a few Issa showers that they're gonna put in this pond D behind me um, that you can have a look at. On the weekend I'll be around so I'll see if I could pop up on the Saturday and like I said if you're here on a Saturday uh, I'll come over if you want to talk about any fish that I highlighted uh, if I could remember it because I'm an old man now apparently then I would try to uh, as well. So we're gonna have a look at these fish that's there and um, yeah it's just been a fun day at Kwanikoi just a vlog relax kind of thing nothing nothing excessive just enjoying the koi day after a busy weekend and my birthday weekend coming up and connecting with adam and he says yeah come over we're moving some fish so jumped in the car 16 minutes later i is here so the boys are coming around you can see over my shoulder they're coming in there as well bringing the fish in so we're gonna head down over to that side and have a look at them isa show us in there um, so like i said do like and subscribe and in the comments leave your comment below on whatever you'd like to be highlighted as well just moving these isa over they got some certificates
for them as well. Adam, these are looking good. I'm really pleased with this batch. You said you had a lot of interest. Yes, we put a video up initially of a uh, photography sort of session of them. Yeah. Uh, which was the first time we'd seen them all in the bowl as well. Right, okay. Um, and after a week of conditioning, they looked immaculate. So right. Really, yeah. really happy with the way they turned out. Of course, a couple of males in there, but that's part of the course. Isn't it, it is what it is, yeah. Um, yeah. But they're still stunning examples that yeah. we're really proud to showcase. Yeah, yeah, so. They will be included in the sale, I just haven't worked out how much of a discount is yes. going to be placed on them. But people could pin you over and we can get a look yeah, at absolutely. these. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, way. absolutely. By the time this, this is. Um, Aired, then they should already be in the sale by then anyway. Yeah, okay. So let's have a look at these. Some really dark examples. Yeah, really, really. If Sumi is your thing, then you've got plenty. And this is from Isa as well. So did you select these? Um, I didn't trip? select them. Yeah, I, didn't, okay. I didn't select these ones, in, mm -hmm. in all honesty. Okay. Um, but it's got a good eye for it. Okay, and there's your certificates there. Yeah, so um, these are the ones that we've done. Obviously, ESA has produced their own certificate for them, but they're okay. in, in a filing cabinet somewhere. I can oh, dig out. Oh, so you have the original certificate? Yes, absolutely. Well. These are these are ones that we do for our website just right, to, okay. to show the uh, the age and size. And uh, which yeah. is your favourite? Do you have such a thing? I know you shouldn't have a favourite child, but because uh, you know, if I have a favourite and it sells, I'll be upset. But yeah. which one do you like? Bowl, particularly this very heavy sumi yeah. male, sadly. That's a male. Still yeah. uh, a stunning, stunning example. Nice sumi on it. Nice, very nice. nice. Yeah. And this, this has a great frame on her as well. I believe that one is female. Yes, she is. This one here. So this one's female. And the frame speaks for itself on that one. Yeah. Sumi's developing. It'll be an interesting one to watch. And these are Nisai. They're all Nisai, yeah. So they range between 46 cm, 44, yep. up to 49. For the page. Yeah. A bit top. top on here. Yeah. So, let me get my finger out of the screen. So this is another bowl of fish. These are from Tamora and one fish from Heroi. The one doing from Heroi. Yeah. yeah. And he'll talk about that fish, the special fish. So the guys are loading that over and then I saw a fish that we could put in a raffle that I like from tomorrow well I'll have a look at the bowl before I offer it uh, as a prize winning as a, one of the special prize draw fish so let's have a look at these fish in the bowl now I'll spin you around here we go I'll get my hands out of the camera I'll leave that one there yeah too. so these are these are all tomorrow 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 koi farm I was there November last year, which sounds a long time ago, but it's actually only two months. Feels like a long time, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Um, so these are um, these are all tomorrow, is it? All tomorrow, yeah. all this side. Yeah. Um, the shows that we had for them in a couple of Tancho Sankeys. Right. Yeah. Um, Sankeys are in the next batch. And yeah. And there's some really nice results. Yeah. From some more good size this side, especially the, the larger Tancho. She really stands out. Well, this is the standout fish for me here. Um, it's female, right? Yes, it is. The frame um, is lovely on 48 it. 48 centimetres. Yeah. And I love Tamora Koi Farm. I like the fish. He breeds the skin on his fish is just next level, in my opinion. But this fish here is a lovely fish. If you come in on the weekend to buy a fish and you got that sort of money in your pocket, um, this would be the fish I'd be considering if I was you. The body is good. The frame's good on it. The spot is a big spot, um, but the frame, take away everything else from it, the frame is good, the white ground is good. Yeah, the similarity is very nice. Yeah, just, just really nice. And it, so many quality is like ink. So, you know, it just needs a bit of feeding up. And the body line is good on that. So, mm. lovely fish from Tamora Koi Farm. Mm. So this, it's kind of special to you and the shop, right? It is, yeah. So it was bought. Originally, it was bought for the um, size two um, dealer show at the national this year. Right. It was pretty national. Um, sadly, it hadn't bodied up enough to really okay. compete at the time, but the pattern was outstanding. So it's something that we held held on to for a few more months and put a little bit of food into it just to see how the frame would develop. But when right. we bought it as Tozai, it was 27 centimeters. Oh, um, and it won. Something called a Phoenix Award, which in all honesty we hadn't heard of before. But Is that in Japan? Phoenix, yeah, it won a Phoenix competition out in Japan, uh, which beat um, 1,700 other Deutz 
entry. Right. Okay. Um, so it's uh, it's done very well just to compete there and still holding strong on the. Uh, and it is there. female. It is female, and 40 centimeters yes. a minute, which for a doit is not bad going at this yeah. size. It's very hard to get a doit to body up, to be honest. But, um, she has a beautiful pattern to stick yeah. herself. So if Deutsch is your thing and you're looking for a special one, this is the one. Yeah, see that rats are lovely. Yeah. Quite heavy on the Mossigura with this one actually. It developed a lot right. thicker and heavier than we expected. Yeah. So we got these all together now, we're gonna have a quick look at them. And probably leave the one I chose for the raffle for last. Okay. And then we can See there, but these are all from Tamora Koi Farm, um, and these came in uh, end of well, end December. Of last no, um, end of last season to be honest. Oh, end of last season. Yeah. Okay. They were really late. Sold to us as toes and we just kept hold of them. Right. Okay. Because at the time we were heavily stocked anyway. Okay. So we sold some at the, um, the new oh, okay, Great okay. British Toy Show, and the, and the rest stayed here. So. So they're now into Nisai. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, so these are Nisai, there's some lovely selection here of these fish. Do you, oh, you got the prices all here? Yeah, okay. So there's all the prices you can see. Male, female, male, male, female. See, there you go. So one of the team members from Quinnipaw like this one. Why don't you come over here? Tell everybody why you like that fish. Why I like this one? Yeah, yeah. Come, hang on, you, you are all of you guys are tall like weed. <laughs> right, come around this side. There you go. So tell, tell everybody, what's your name? My name's Arva. And all the right. reason I like this fish is more just personal preference. Yeah, I do love the way the white pops on it. Yeah. And I think the white just displays the belly well. Right. And it's just even on the sumo for me. But it is one I would have in my own pond to be fair. So have you got a pond? Yeah. yeah, and what's your favourite variety? My favourite variety, to be fair, it's a bit of a boring one, but I do like the uh, Kage Shiro's. Oh, you like Kage I haven't got one yet, I'm right. just waiting for the perfect one. Well, well, well when Kage. Adam turns his back to have a sandwich, <laughs> put, it, put it in the back of your car and drive <laughs> off. You may not have a job again. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best well, I've got. So that's it. It's a lovely, lovely, it's a pretty fish, Adam, isn't it? Yeah. Very, the skin blings on it, so that's that's your choice. And I think, I think yeah. it is female, isn't it? That yeah, it is, is female. That one's female. Yeah, 41 centimetres, so there you go. Um, there's no danger of any yellowing on that one, like no, you might get with no, a male. Yeah. That's a very right, so this fish well. is the one that, to be fair, I kind of liked from day one. Um, well, not day one, the from minute the minute I walked in. And uh, you may think, well, why does he like this fish? Well, this fish to me has a total package of what a good sankey could be. And as we use the word could because nothing is guaranteed, but the body structure in this fish is strong. Um, it, it is female. Um, the sumi placement is great. And where there is sumi on the white ground, it is nice and dark sumi as well. And for me, Adam, this would be the fish that I would put in the raffle. Yeah. This is my choice. Is the five pound one entry or can they five buy multiple? Five pound is one entry, you can buy, can buy multiple entries. So on the website, it will just appear yeah. as a normal koi listing, obviously advertised as yeah, the, yeah. Um, the entry for the raffle. But if you put a multiple number down and check out, then obviously that will buy you the extra entries yeah. you know, to give you a better chance of winning. Right, okay. Um, we'll put everyone's entries into a random generator online and it will just pull up the, um, the online reference or install reference. There you go. So this Sankey is going back. It's going to go into this pond there. And uh, you could win this for five pounds on there. So there you go. I must be mad. <laughs> There you go, we'll get a footage of Adam putting it so you can see what pond is going in. Uh, there you go, so that's the choice for the raffle. Love it. Good now, choice. while Adam and the guys are doing their other bits, this is the fish I saw. Now, it is Nisai and it is small. Um, do you remember the size? 31 when it was photographed yeah. in August. So, probably see. about, I guess, in, no, between 31 and 34. Um, which is baby champ size. Now, 
I said that because I'm a sh I, I show my fish. Um, but if you're looking for a little shower and you've got a pond that is unheated and you want to have a dabble at showing, this is the koi for you. Trust me, this is the koi for you. Actually, out of this batch, Adam, this is the one that I'm saying back, right? That yes. it took baby champ yes, from. Yes, yes, yes. So this will either, I'm not sure, I haven't sexed it, but at this point, it doesn't matter if it's male or female. It's just a lovely little thing that can probably go and do very well in a koi show. It's got lovely mutaguro. And you may say, well, if you like it that much, why don't you buy it? Well, in my pond, it will disappear. Yeah. <laughs> it, it might get, eaten. it will be eaten alive <laughs> in my pond. So um, I think if you're coming on the weekend, come and see me on the weekend. I'll be here at Kunikoi on Saturday and we can talk about this fish. Um, I'll ha we'll, we'll have get Adam to flip it over, but to be honest, sex don't really matter on this size. Then we'll get the measurement as well. Yeah, okay. Get Adam to flip this fish over, but it looks to me like a female vent. It's 33 cm, which is perfect, under 35. Oh yes, I would say that is female, Adam. Yeah, I would absolutely. say that's female. It's got the T vent to it. Yeah, yeah. So nice and bulbous. Just hold a little bit high in the water, let people have a good look at it. There you go. So if you're looking for something for the koi show this year, there you go. It's 33 cm, so. Not got too much to do on it, probably another CM, but the body is right and stuff like that. So, awesome. Really nice fish. Yeah, very nice. So the sun is dropping and it's getting cold. So I'm a bit cold and I don't like being cold. So we're going to look at these fish. I've only seen them from the depth. I asked Adam if he wouldn't mind um, putting these in the bowl for me, so just so we can have a look. Just something a bit different, some shiro in himself. So there you go. So these are out of QT now? Yeah, they've been out of QT for a while. Okay. They're fish that we had in his toes are late in the season and just kept and put some food right. towards them. That I'm actually really impressed because I've, I've never had them out. Well, is that the point. one I kind of spotted? Yes. That's the one there. It's a really pretty checkerboard pattern. It is, yeah. And it, it is, like I say, for a koi show, that's the kind of thing that is going to take some beating. I'm guessing the size is what, 40... Yeah, it's about 45. 45 cm. So... I'm a sex at the minute. Yeah. Can have a look? But no, that's... What sort do you, I guess, I don't know, have you worked out the prices of these? I haven't, though, because yeah. honestly it's sort of the last pond that's been sort of left okay. to its own devices. Yeah, so. yeah. Certainly find out if anyone is. Yeah. For that one in particular, it's a useful example. For, for me, that's the standout kind of yeah, koi there. It caught my eye. Look at the sumi on it's like ink. All right, Adam. So we finally come to the end of the day. I'm getting cold yes, again, so which means chilly. we're losing the sun. It's a cold wind yeah. today. And I, I think tonight's supposed to drop to minus three tonight. Yeah, I know. It puts a real strain on all the heating. Yeah. Cross your fingers as you walk in. Hopefully, yeah. it's tricked overnight. Well, thank you for today. I must say it's been a good day and just to be able to do some content for everybody. When the koi year is so slow this time of year, yeah. it's good for people to sit back and watch a video. Absolutely. But also what's even good is that you have an event this weekend yes. coming up. So just, I know people have heard it before, but just recap what's happening. So it's just a, a pre-season sale um, right at the end of January, running from the 20th to the 28th of yeah. January 2024. Um, where we're going to have some huge discounts on koi, filtration, um, our food range, um, and everything in between. So mm. if you're in need of anything or you want to stock up ready for the season, whether it be food or treatments, just in case, just to have them in the shelf, then uh, we're here and we're doing a discounted price for those nine days. Right. So you're not doing this because it's my birthday necessarily. No, it just happened. It's just very coincidental. <laughs> it did um, happen. But yeah, with, with things like the raffle and yeah. all the other interactive things that we're doing, we're hoping to you know, bring some attention and get people down here just to yeah. appreciate koi in a time of year when, let's face it, everyone's sort of neglecting their garden a little bit. Yeah. So it's nice to um, see people come down again because it does get quite quiet in winter. Sure. And so for me, it's been a great, you know, it's, it doesn't take me far to get here, but I love coming, uh, getting bits from you, seeing your fish seen the fish you have on display, the new fish out of quarantine yes. as well, and the events you have coming up. And 
Saturday I'll spare a few hours, I'll come down, hang out. So uh, I probably wouldn't film. Well, I'm, I don't know, I might bring the camera and film. Always if your both. customers don't mind being filmed, net Absolutely. and fish, Always then both. that's fine. Um, but I wanted to say thank you and uh, on behalf of all of those who watch the video, to say thank you for letting us have some content and some insider Absolutely. into Quinnicoy in all that you do. So I want to wish you all success in 2024 at the Koi shows and whatever you're doing as well. And the team, you guys did a fantastic job. And the facility is first class, I must say. You've done a great job. Thank so, you so much. Thank really you so it. much. And uh, hopefully everybody watching this can leave some comments in the description section. And then also there's a mug they can win. I left there's it on your shelf win, absolutely, yeah. for you as Give well. Give that away to the first person that mentions it. Yes. I think it should be... So the question can be, what is the size of the first Hoshkin shower? Yes, so that's there you go. So from the main pond, from, from the main pond, pond there. So, so if you could get that, that, yeah, if you could mention that in the description, um, Adam will put you in, and then he will pick a winner out. You could get that mug for free. Absolutely. So that's all for me and the guys at Quinnicoy. You can see their main pond as we finish here. Uh, pond's looking really, really well. And the boys are just wrapping up now, putting things away. It's getting cold. And I've got a long drive of 12 minutes to get off. <laughs> so nice to have a dealer so close by. We have coming up in January. So, in the end of January, we will be doing. See, this is the thing, I hate this, this is the, ah. <laughs> <We'll cut. laughs> It's not normally like this. <laughs> Could have done it the other way around, it's easy to pull in like that. Don't worry, I wouldn't put this on the clip for everybody to see. <laughs> I would edit it out, don't worry. <laughs>